We're spending two weeks on the Morella Discovery 2. This former Royal Caribbean ship is now 29 years old. Is she past her prime? Holding approximately 1,800 passengers and 750 crew, she has 11 decks, 918 cabins, 8 restaurants, 7 bars and 2 pools. We're hoping for fun-packed days and fine dining. Have we booked the right cruise, given some of the reviews? Come along with us and find out as we embark on our first day. Hello, and here we are at Birmingham International Airport on our way to our cruise. Oh, it's exciting. Mm. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, we're going on the TUI Discovery 2, or should I say Morella Discovery 2, actually. Yeah. So, do you want to know where we're going? We're yes. going. Yes. yes do you want I to do. know where we're going? <laughs> where are we going? We're going to Singapore. Oh, nice. So, it's a 14 hour flight. I'm not looking forward to that. No. I've got to say, I don't know how I'm going to get on. Stay with us to find out how we get on. And stay with us because I've got a really good tip for a travel pillow that I'll share with you in a bit. Yeah, so a couple of days ago, we printed off our luggage labels. Um, now, if you haven't got a printer at home, I do know that our local library prints things off so that would be an option if you can't print it at home um, but you have to print them off staple them together onto your suitcase so that when your suitcases get there they know which cabin to send them to now we don't know whether we have to collect our luggage at Singapore and take it to a bus or whether our luggage will just directly get put onto the boat we haven't been told that so we'll let you know a bit later when we find that information out. Yeah, fingers crossed it gets put on the plane because that's one of Lisa's uh, oh, phobias, isn't it? Gosh, yeah. <laughs> I've taken photographs of the luggage just in case. And when we got to Birmingham Airport, we had to, um, because we'd already checked in a couple of days ago, we had to go to the self-service bit and put our own labels on. Um, but people are there to help you. So it was quite straightforward. It's, there's nothing to worry about, is there? No, no. And for entry into Singapore, we also need to give our uh, a landing card. But we did this on an app, didn't we? The My ICA app. Yeah. So if you are going to Singapore, that's just something to bear in mind. Uh, there is a little bit of tech to get to grips with. But too, we did send an email telling you um, what app to download. And it's fairly straightforward once you go on. Um, yeah, so we've been at the airport, we've been to Weatherspoons, yeah, we've had a coffee, £3.25 for your refills at Weatherspoons. Yeah, as many refills as you want, mm. that was nice, free water. Free water as well, and then we've gone and um, filled up our water bottles just outside the toilets, just by the WH Smith bookstore, there's some uh, free water refills that you can fill your bottles up with. Yeah, it stops us buying plastic, plastic bottles which, which, which really are disposable so yep. Uh, yep. doing a bit to save the planet yeah so now we're going to go and get on the plane and join us in a bit and see how we get on on this 14 hour flight i'm scared don't be scared although one thing we sh <laughs> one thing we should say is we've been on um, morella before and we've had a really good time it's been really enjoyable and we booked this and then uh, probably a big mistake. We went online to look at the reviews of uh, Morella and there were quite a few negative reviews, weren't there? There were, yeah. It was comparing it to a Pontin site. Now, I like YouTube and I've watched quite a few um, vlogs recently on Pontin's holiday camps. I used to go as a child and loved it. My goodness, they've gone downhill. They, they aren't good at all. Mm. So, if this boat is like a Pontin's, I don't know what we go into, to be honest. Yeah, it's also been compared to uh, the food has been compared to Weatherspoons, which, to be honest, Weatherspoons is all right. Yeah. You know what you're getting. Yeah. But this is an all-inclusive holiday. Yeah. Um, we're gonna we're gonna judge it as we find it, and we'll, yeah. we'll let you know our thoughts. And we are pescatarians, although I try not to eat any fish. So we will let you know what what it's like if you've got different dietary requirements if you're vegan vegetarian pescatarian food allergies i also have a food allergy so i'll let you know how we're treated and, and what goes on so stick with us uh, if you want to see our adventures we're going to be doing lots of vlogs about lots of different things about a morella discovery too so hit the subscribe button the like button comment button and join us on our adventure come on
so here we are, we're on our flight, we're about halfway through. Um, we checked in two days before online. We didn't pay extra to book seats next to each other. We decided to take a chance and see if we would be seated together. Um, we checked in, our flight was at, on a Wednesday at 14.30 and we managed to check in on a mon the Monday before at 14.30. It opened exactly 48 hours before the flight took off. Um, and we managed, uh, the check-in was easy, we got our seat numbers allocated and we're sitting opposite each other across an aisle and we're right at the back of the plane, which to be honest is fine. We're in row 38 but above us, um, we couldn't put our luggage because that's uh, for crew luggage. So we've had to put our luggage a little bit further up the plane. We were offered free drinks um, when we got on the plane and we've had a meal. We're both pescatarian and we had a vegetarian meal ordered, which was adequate. It was fine. Um, there's plenty of films to watch. I think we've got about another six hours to go. Actually, we thought the flight was going to be 14 hours, and when we got on board, the captain said it was 12 hours. That was a result. So I think we've got about another six hours to go. This is my travel pillow that I was talking about earlier. Um, it's actually a draft excluder from B&M, and it cost me five pounds. And I did order a travel pillow, but it was really uncomfortable. And it was an expensive one, it was from John Lewis. But when it came, it was rubbish, it didn't support my neck at all. So I went down my local B&M, saw this draft excluder, tied a scarf around it, and it gives you a lot more support than the travel pillows. So Giles has got one as well. So that was a bit of a bargain. What's happened so far on the plane is someone has gone in the toilet smoking naughty 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 the captain requested that people stop smoking because we're over politically unstable countries at the moment people are uh, enjoying the free bar and having some alcoholic drinks um, i've only had one glass of wine with my meal i've had an uh, apple juice and i'm just making sure i'm drinking plenty of water to try and keep hydrated so we'll see you when we land So we've arrived at Changi Airport, uh, it's very nice and efficient isn't it? Yep. Lots of greenery around, uh, we were through customs quite quickly. A few people seem to have a problem with their passports, you have to do your thumbprint and it's a um, biometric passport but you've got to make sure that you've done your immigration declaration as well before you arrive, if not that will take you a little bit of time. So uh, we're off now to find the uh, bus. And the good news is we've got all our suitcases. Yes. Yay. Lisa. Lisa's happy with that. <laughs> Seen a bit. So now we're lining up to put our bags in the back of that lorry there. And then I take it we're going to get a coach which is a bit further down that way. If you need to have a smoke, there's a smoking point just outside this one. So we've just had to go through passport control again for the second time today. It was quite a big queue, but we are getting very close because look, it says to the ship. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure where we've uh, arrived at and parked up. Some backwater dock, it's not that far. It's not very close to uh, Marina yeah, Bay. There's some island with a cable cars. 
It's like a theme park island, Lisa's saying. So we're going to check in at the Squid Nanka. So how are you feeling, Lise? You've been travelling nearly 24 hours. Are you grumpy? Yeah. <laughs> I did say it was like a prison cell. Come in, come in, join me. Is it like a prison cell? <laughs> oh, I tell you what, these prison cells are getting better. <laughs> I wouldn't mind oh, stay in prison. Right. It's a lot. First impressions. It's a lot smaller than a P and O cabin. I think. Do you? A comparable inside cabin. Yeah. I yeah, I think so. Up, yeah, definitely. I think the P and O cabins. Not as much storage area, but we'll do a, we'll do a full cabin tour yeah, at some point. Yeah, but, but at the moment, we're very very tired. Yeah. And probably need to get a couple of hours uh, sleep. But we won't be checking for bed bugs. No. We're just going to get in bed. We don't care. Here's the soup. Mm, soup's nice. Thai fish cakes. These are very pleasant. They must be, which they're all gone. They yeah, have. All gone. There's the katsu cauliflower curry. Okay. That's very insightful for our YouTube audience. <laughs> that's, it's I haven't had much sleep at all. It's time. okay, and Lisa hasn't had much sleep. That's all you need to know for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> so I think my verdict on the katsu style cauliflower curry is it's pretty much like bird's eye mixed vegetables with a chip shop curry sauce poured over the top of it. So it's not not fabulous, but it's eatable, edible. <laughs> I'm tired as well. The strawberry meringue cheesecake. It looks very nice. I think it probably looks the best out of the three courses that I've had, if I'm honest. But I suppose the proof of the pudding is in the eating. A little bit dry. Dry? Yeah, I think it, it looks nice and it actually tastes. But I am going to eat it. Yeah. It's, it's not like unedible. We are tired, aren't we? Mm. Inedible. Mm. There's a pistachio and salted caramel dessert. It's a bit dry. Mm, yeah, same as Lisa's. It is a little bit dry. It's like a, a muffin with caramel sauce poured on the top. We did think it was nice you could order a coffee after your dinner. However, this coffee tastes like dish water. It's really not good. I think this is the last coffee that we'll have. We'll get water after this. So we've come to the theatre to watch the welcome show. The good news is that you are allowed drinks in here, which you're not allowed on some cruise companies. They um, hand you, they've got a selection of drinks as you walk in to choose from. Um, I'm, I'm going non-alcoholic now, I've had a couple of Proseccos, 
and a port, that's enough for me. And I'm going full alcoholic and I've had a rum cocktail. We've got the Beach Boys playing in the background, so we could really get into the holiday mm -hmm. mode. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the show is like. Yeah. So another thing that Morella is still doing is the turn down service at night. You got a couple of little chocolates on the pillow, which is good. So that's the end of day one on Tui Morella Discovery 2. So it's the first time we've done Discovery 2. We've been on Discovery before. We've had a very, very long day. We've had lots of queuing. We've had to show our passports numerous times. Singapore is very hot on checking things and checking your passports and making sure that all your boarding stuff's up to date and you know your declarations and we've got to make three different declarations because we're coming back into Singapore so there's a little bit of complexity about that we had about three hours sleep this afternoon we went out and had something to eat this evening uh, the food wasn't brilliant but we're going to reserve judgment on on that the main course was just a little bit meh and the desserts were a little bit dry. Um, oh, and the coffee was awful as well. So that was not a good start. Uh, but we are gonna do a full food review. So uh, make sure you uh, subscribe and like and all the rest of it to check that out and see whether uh, Morella is gonna be a cruise company for yourselves or whether it's not. Um, we have cruised with uh, Morella before, but quite some time ago. So we are looking at what's changed. We've been with P&O for quite a bit and we'll probably draw some comparisons between P&O and TUI as sort of quite, um, probably two of the largest UK competitors in the, uh, in the market. The reason we came to do this one was because of the itinerary. Um, the itinerary Southeast Asia looked absolutely fantastic and we're really looking forward to exploring a lot of the places that we're going to this week. So I'm really tired now, so it's time for me to go. So our plan now is to work through the entire cocktail list of all-inclusive cocktails. So some of the reviews of these cabins said that it was a little bit like a prison cell. And that was dressed to impress night, wasn't it? Yeah. Did it impress you? We didn't win, did we? We did really badly. We didn't win the bingo, but we won the flip-flops. Well, I won the flip-flops, they're mine. So that meal was absolutely delicious. It was the best meal I've had on here. You could probably have to be up early to bag one of these though. Um, it's about eight o'clock. Mm. A really good tip for you is that on the main pool deck area. A handy hint is to know where you are on the boat, the red carpet is at the rear. So we're at the back of the ship now. And the blue carpet is at the bow of the ship. Blue B, red rear. So thanks for joining us on our embarkation video. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.